Hey, I'm Kev Kev, I must come back to TT. Art of Man Ride on the Edge, which we're definitely doing round number four. Mountain course, 60.7 kilometers. Last time out, we did it on the Super Sport bike. So can we finish the whole course on the Super Bike? Well, we have not ridden most of the sections on the Super Bike either. It'll be very interesting to see how we do on our Honda, the only Honda, trying it out as we've got a Norton as well, a couple of Nortons. Got a few Kawasaki's and BMW's battling us as we've got 10 riders here for training. Let's see how we do. So here we are revving up at the start. We get underway with a bit of a squirm on board a Honda Superbike as we go past the grandstand up at exit. Begin what should be an epic, adventurous first full Superbike lap around this mountain course. It's already up the sixth gear and already major lifting for St. Ninian's Crossroads. We expect to hear lots more major lifting than we did on under the Super Sport that we go through Prey Hill around 170 miles per hour. And we have to lift on the exit. As we have those bombs, nooks and crannies trying to launch us towards the stratosphere. Well, that's not gonna work. As you major lift through the left handers. Let's get your anchors into the ground for quarter bridge. Hit the apex, accelerate away nice and smoothly. He's got a good gap behind to a couple of riders. As, oh, we get up to sit gear. Full braking for Braddon Bridge. Get down to second gear for the left. And for the right, or oh, a bit wide. Going down here, okay, too much speed. And so we're gathering up slightly on the exit. Not too bad, though. So you want to be a bit slower, a bit smoother on the exit. Heading towards this left hand kink, which you live for. Because you're only going around 70% on this lap. You want to be pushing it too hard. As we go through this left hander where it just tightens up a bit in the Union Mills to get the brakes on for the right, then through the left, accelerate away in fourth gear. That's all scraping some walls there, scraping some wall. We'll pay for that after. Look at that. As the exit the settlement to go towards the countryside and build the speed up to over 190 miles per hour for this right hand kick, which is not the rattle. We're on this practice lab, you're trying to hit 200 miles per hour. Not able to do it though before this right hand kink. We get up to safe and all oh, once again the bumps. Try to make us skyward. And all we want to do is be stable and smooth on this lap. With our braking. We're accelerating. With our rate transfer, our leaning. We want it to be smooth. And that will lead to stability as well. As we go through Crosby and sit gear. Now we lead to high speed, so once again approaching 200 miles per hour. Oh, before we go over that jump though. Saw my flash, life flash before my eyes there. Heading towards the stars and night sky, the moon. We're back on terra firma, we're lifting through the right hander, which helps us through the left and helps us into the chicane as we take it in fourth again. Trying to keep that rev range not too low, like we're doing too high gearing. And not too high like it within too low again. Just want it in that nice middle. Middle path. With the rev range has. I think we set bio sectors one and two now. Now in three and four, which we're fairly familiar with on board the super sport bike. Not so much on the super bike, so we'll see how you handle this as we dab the brakes for the left hander. Make so our way towards the Hawthorne. Not only the first right is flat out. So we're lifting on this occasion. We're definitely doing it into the second right as well. I thought that was a nice second right though. Managed to get on the power nice and early. And down this back straight. Before we lift, we got our braking done. With this tight wrap, right hand of a Buller Crane. And bumpy as hell as well. Look at that suspension work. Look how right each other. As you lift through the left hand, and we can take this right hand flat out. As if we took that tight right hand in first gear. Back end will be having a party. We know how dreadful it is with the back end having a party. In this game as we lift through the left hander, which isn't too bad compared to the corners coming up though. Especially the set of the tight right hander. You get down to third gig out of break and done pass the rock faces. And then lift through the left hander. And then get our breaking done for this right hand down to second now. And then we accelerate away up through the gears up to fifth. Before we do some lifting. 
can get down to fourth, I think, will be our gear of choice through this section. This windy section. You just got to be so patient with the throttle. Be careful the placement of your bike as well. As we go through Glen Helen. Where we've got a tighter corner coming up though. Might have to get it down to third, I think. For this left hander. You're down to around 75 miles per hour. Fork accelerating away. And then get the braking done for this left. And then right hander. And then just when you see me, you can put the throttle wide open. Got some kinks on the exit here. You get up to sit gear. And then lift through the left hander for this right. Then we've got a bit of a lift over the brow. Over that right hand, and now we can be wide open with the throttle. Six or eight past the house is flat out before conk the body straight. Six or eight away. I think we survived section three and four. Normally I'm awful at that on the super sport bike, but I wasn't too bad on the super bike. And look at the gap behind to the chasing pack. I think we did pretty well. That's now in sections five and six where it all began, remember our career. More the Honda Super Sport. Let's see what we can do on a Honda Super Bike. As you better remember this route previously. <laughs> as we go through the chicane. As we're just slowing down for the right hander there. Not really for the left. And now we're coming to the left hand kinks, three of them. Which can easily catch you out. The first one not too bad though, as you can see. Second one's not that bad idea if you lift early enough and cautious enough for it. It is the final one, which is hairy. Let's see, we go through Bar Garrow. See, not too bad at all. But it's this final left hand kink. With the house on the inside where it tightens up with the compression. The undulation changing at 50%. That was a bit hairy. Well, you make it through. We survive. That is the name of the game for this. Like, just surviving, seeing how this whole that flows together on board a super bike compared to the super sport bike. And if we have to do things a bit different on this bike compared to the super sport, to go through this left hander. Uh, almost clipping the wall on the inside. Just about survived though. Accelerate away. With a bit of a straight. We have to break for Douglas Road corner. Get down to third gear. Remember this corner is not as tight as we think it is. As we don't on the Super Sport that. But now we're heading through the streets. Where the bike has no direction. In my hands at least as we go through Kurt Michael. We're just trying to keep up the changes left, right, left. And then past the petrol station. And after this point it's all about got the nuts and crannies in the road which can easily catch you out. Let's see you go, we've got a bit of air time as well over that bump. We survive. So go through the right. Around 50% throttle. And then we got the kinks through the left. Through the right. Accelerate away. And again, lifting through this point. No doubt we'll be caught through this section. We'll be have the roads behind catch up to us, so we've just been very cautious here. Do not want to mess up at these high speeds. Because even messing up a minute amount, that will lead to big things. And not good big things. Six set away. And now we get the anchors into the ground for the bridge. Remember this bridge, you get some major air time. If you're not careful enough, you don't want to be Tony Hawk over the Bluff Bridge. I apologize my awful pronunciation again. As he accelerate away. Through the sun, through the trees. This is scary as you go through in sip gear. I know a bit of a bump there as well, we've got to watch out for. Remember that really got some air time on the Super Sport bike, so. Got to be very careful of that. So go through the right hander. Just keep it nice and smooth through this section. So that's a bit wide. As we go through the soul be straight. Well, this isn't straight at all. As we lift. There we go. Now we can accelerate away. 
like they're through the left. And now we're into hyper speed. The trees. The sun poking through and there's something going to another dimension. To approach 200 miles per hour. We can definitely keep the accelerator going for a bit more than that. And as you break into Solby Bridge. Tie right hander, very bumpy. That's why we're taking that in second gear as well. As we go through Ginger Hall. Dabbing the brakes. It's all a bit out of shape. Came way too much speed. What are you doing? This is a practice lap. Calm it. Get down to third. And again, going very wide on that left hand. As you can see, there's a gang behind trying to catch up to us. As we go through the left and right. Just got to keep it nice and smooth. Not focus on the riders behind either. Just focus on the road in front. That's the most important thing. As I think we're around halfway through this lap. That's on the Super Sport bike. It was 21, 21 and a half minutes. On the Super Bike, I expected it to be 17, 18 minutes. Is that we're aiming for? So break for this left hand up. Makes their way away through Church Town. So they definitely are catching behind. Oh, just when I thought we were going to have an uninterrupted lap. Like we had on board. I oh, didn't have on board the Super Sport bike. That's why I want an uninterrupted lap. Well, I don't have to watch out for anyone else. I just can concentrate on learning this circle on board the Super Bike. But now, everyone else is catching up to us. It's a great fun. As we go through the left. We're just very slow in this section. But we've got a gap of around 10 to 15 seconds, I reckon. Now, so you can build the speed up before lifting with this left hander. Oh, and now we've got some major braking to do. Get all the way down to first for Parliament Square. You can see lots of crowds gathered around. We've seen a few photos here throughout the years. As you go through Crook Shacks. Crook Shacks. I do apologise for my terrible pronunciation. And through the left. Get acceleration away. For the right hand kink. As we head towards the hairpin. Ramsey hairpin. Get down to first. Get to around 30 miles per hour. So accelerate away. Oh, we can hear the other competitors as well. To the left hand side accelerating from the hairpin. Get down to second. And just keep braking. That's, oh, that's a bit wide in that corner. That was a bit horrible. That's first half of that. Pretty familiar with. Second half, not so much, especially these sections, especially as you never visited this on a super bike. Or barely on a super sport bike as well. As we head towards the goose neck, get it down to first. That big fat curb on the inside. So accelerate away. So I've got around five minutes left of the lap, I reckon. So, we're around two thirds of the way through this lap. We've got a long way, but we've still got a long way to go. See, when you say two thirds of the lap on Mosa, it's just a minute, isn't it? Or a couple of minutes. Around there, we're talking about a large investment of time. But well, you do not want to screw up now. So just going to be very cautious and go through Guthrie's Memorial. In second gear, so away, get on the brakes again in third through the left. With these beautiful country roads. Get down to four through the walls. And I can just be hugely distracted by the country roads either side. 
probably going around 70% throttle through here. You can definitely go a bit more than that. As you can see, it's not many kinks here. It's just straight, but kind of leaning a bit more than I'm comfortable with at the moment. Especially for that right-hander. Especially the left-hander coming up. As you get it down to fourth. As we're approaching the section we know, though, on this superbike, sections 11 and 12. So the sooner we get there, the better. Because at least we know what we're doing in that final section. We rode that pretty well as well. We visited the yard, and I think we're a couple of corners away from that section now. Get down to fifth. So right away. Have the brakes, get it down to fifth, get it down to fourth. Around this ever turning right hand bend. That's why we're very cautious, never know when it's going to end. And now into this left hand bend, get it down to fourth. Using more of the engine braking around here as well. Maybe the slight dab of the brakes, but it's more about engine braking. We can slow down way before the corner. As you approach the bungalow, get it down to third. Next so right away in fourth. Oh, we've got a good gap behind. We shouldn't be worrying about the riders behind. We've got a good gap. It's still around 10 to 15 seconds, so we're very comfortable. So we can just concentrate on the road in front. And Brady well. Or Brady well. Again, another third gear, it seems like corner, or maybe even fourth, when we start pushing it. We start lifting majorly, everywhere. Dabbing the brakes there, through that double left. I think it's the section we know now. We're definitely at the end of the lap. You get down to fourth for the right hander. Yes, we recognize this corner, this is the start of sections 11 and 12. Now we can party on this superbike. Well, not too hard, of course. But at least we know what we can do on this superbike in this section. Unlike the whole of the rest of the lap, it's just been a guessing game. This time we can get it down to fifth. We can be confident that we know this is a double left. We can lift for the second part. And we can accelerate a bit, but then we've got heavy braking coming up for Keppel Gate, down to third. So right away. So we've got the left hand kink, dabbing the brakes in fifth. Look how dirty that windscreen, is it ridiculous? So that was a bit of a jump, forgot about that. And now we've got some heavy braking to do for Craig Nebar. Get it down to first, remember how bumpy that apex is though? So bumpy on our super bike compared to a super sport bike as well. Let's see, we go. No, we can finally hear the motor roar after quite a long time. Playing with the throttle. And now we've got a right hand kink. Got quite a few bumps. Got the left hander now coming up. Dabbing the brakes, getting it down to fifth. Nick survey away, but remember there's a bit of a jump coming up. So lots of bumps. We're going in, we've got this right hander. Dabbing the brakes, get down to fourth for Hillberry. Accelerate away gently. As we've got a few left hand bends coming up. So you dab the brakes, keep it in fourth. There we go, and then we've got some braking to do. Into signpost corner, get down to first. It's all a bit wide on the exit. And then brake for the left. Keeping it in third. Just a couple of corners to go. I was totally wrong about the time as well. It's going to be approaching 20 minutes. When you get down to second. Then you've got to be careful round here. As it's a very, very tight right-hander. 
you can see, taking out around 50 miles per hour. And then through the left, and through the right, couple of jumps. But someone's messed up behind, have they? No, it's just the corner, isn't it? As you accelerate away towards the line, we have finally done this. Fast grandstand. And that was 19 and a half minutes, so only a couple of minutes quicker. I expected that to be much quicker. As where are we going to end up? Eighth. It is around 90 minutes we need to be. Look at you. On the Norton V4. Oh. Head of the BMWs. Then we've got the Honda. Then we've got Kent on the BMW around at the top. Five heads. We are 51.3 seconds back. But we've just completed that on board the Superbike around this course. That's what I'm happy with about as we do end up just a couple of places above last in eighth way ahead of Sylvester what are you doing on that up on the BMW and we've got Vincent in ninth we're under a minute back which is not too bad for our first go round I reckon so we're finally done TT practice around the mountain course as no doubt there's lots of maintenance from there actually not too bad the maintenance. Considering how many attempts that took, I would take that as if I kept all of that recording, it took around six hours to do that one map for the superbike. But unfortunately, because of file sizes, I've had to delete quite a lot. Of it. So I've only got around an hour or half an hour of the footage from my attempts. So you get a few outtakes, but not as many as there probably should be. There's probably around 100 outtakes at least from that attempt but we've got almost a thousand fans that's Andy Allen and we'll be heading to a different track the Antrim Speed Track Mass Start Event I don't want a Mass Start Event after that please as were we fourth overall out of 30 does it say on the last result there that can't be right I do not know what that is I thought that's a super sport sorry ignore me I thought that's a super bike as it doesn't have that up it looks like but yeah I hope you enjoyed a full that finally of the mountain course with a superbike I'll be back next time I'm off to cool down have a bath just relax for the next 10 days I think after that attempt but I will see you next time Through the gears, all the way up to sit. That's all. That's it. Go onto the pavement, which isn't tight as it looks. So we are revving up at the start. 